He's a, kind of a radical sign-holding kind of guy. That's why I like him. Uh, he's with a new organization called Great and Equal and Mark Harrington. Thank you, and also for taking my call. Can you do some robocalls quick, Nick, before we come down? And, and he said, sure, done. It's done, and we're grateful to Mark for everything. So this is a rally, right? This is a rally, right? Is this a rally? Actually, technically, I talked to the state house and rallies really aren't permitted in this space. So this is really a, a celebration. I stand correct. Celebration, I want you to repeat after me. We are a movement. We are a movement. We are a movement, not a cause. We are a movement, not a cause. We are a movement, not a cause. Now you might be wondering why you're saying that. Let me explain. We're a movement, not just a cause. What I mean by that is, there's lots of causes out there, aren't there? Yeah. Lots of causes. In fact, the other day I looked on Facebook and I found out that there were 350,000 causes on Facebook. 350,000 causes. There are so many causes on Facebook, there's a cause to stop stupid Facebook causes. <laughs> there are so many causes on Facebook that there is a cause to stop the cause of stupid Facebook causes. I mean, that's, that's where we are. Lots of causes, some of them good, but very few convert into bona fide, authentic movements of God. Right. And that's what this is. Amen. That's what the pro-life movement is. It's not just a cause. It's a movement. Yeah. And the heartbeat bill is a movement that's going to sweep this nation starting today in this state house. It's going to sweep this nation and go through the state houses all across America because we are a movement, not just a cause. Not just a cause. separates a movement from a cause is our willingness to sacrifice for someone else. Our willingness to sacrifice and I will say invite persecution if necessary for the cause of justice. Amen. Let me finish with this quote and this is from a guy named James Word. You ever heard of James Word? Probably not. There's a reason why. James Word was a civil rights activist during the 1960s. And James Worth was a high school or a college student who decided to go to Birmingham, Alabama to get on a Freedom Ride. All right. Now, if you understand what the Freedom Rides were back then, that was when African Americans defied the law and got on buses that were segregated. Amen. And James Worth said, I'm going to be part of the Freedom Rides. And he said, I'm going to go to Birmingham. And that was a historic ride, by the way. And he got on that bus. And James Ward realized when he got on that bus, something that was facing him at the other end. And you know who was facing him? White racists who were willing to beat him up. <laughs> but James Ward got on that bus. And when he got on that bus, he faced those men and women. And James Ward was beaten an inch from his death. And he sat in a hospital room for two days unconscious. And when he woke up, the media was there, and they said, Mr. Twerk, are you going to get back on the bus? And he said, yes, I am. And he said, I'm willing to endure persecution, and I will say this, we're willing to accept death if necessary for the cause of justice. Now, what separated James Word from everybody else, most everyone else was, James Word 
was an African American. He was white. James Work didn't have a stake in it, did he? He really didn't have a stake in it. He wasn't part of the victim class. And so it is with us. The difference between the pro-life movement and many movements is we are sacrificing for others, as James Work did. And James Work understood what he was doing. And he said this, to me, it was a movement. I sensed a power far greater than any one individual, he said. Since then, I understand the term is synergism. Do you sense the synergism today? It's here. And he went on to say that the power of many is greater than the individual alone. We are a movement, not just a cause. We're not going away. This bill is going to be taken into the Senate. It's going to be passed and signed by the governor. And God willing, state houses all across America are going to be introducing our state.